DFG Science TV, Stone Age Giants, the Trail of Rocks, from portal tombs to graves and their builders. While the researchers at Lake Pogensee drill for sediment cores, another team that is also involved in the priority program is digging at a site just a few kilometers away in the Neolithic water-saturated site of Volkenweyer in the Brenner Bock. They're looking for clues to give the scientists more information about the landscape 5,000 years ago. Archaeologist Jan Piet Brozio is in charge of the work at the settlement. We're working together with several other scientific disciplines. We'll be visited by soil scientists who are going to take samples, as well as botanists who will conduct various experiments, including pollen analyses, which will enable us to include information on the history of the vegetation in this area in our findings. The settlement in the bog is an ideal location for a dig because of the wet soil that has preserved more than just stones and bones over the millennia. Yes, the special thing about this site is that we have a water-saturated site. That means that we're dealing with the preservation of organic material, first and foremost the piles. And at the same time we're also dealing with a site that is absolutely unique. In the 1950s the Brenner bog was drained. While the drainage trenches were being built and during the archaeological digs that followed, over 500 well-preserved wooden posts dating back several thousand years were found. But the settlement has still not been fully investigated to the present day, and archaeologists continue to discover more posts during their digs. The precise dating of these posts may help the archaeologist Jan Piet Brozio and his team to establish a link between the settlement of Volkenweyer and the megalithic graves in the region, and give the researchers an insight into everyday life in the settlement and into its burial rituals. Sebastian Volzen, one of the research assistants working with Jan Piet Brozio, agrees. Well, normally there are very few big stones in bogs um, or in boggy regions. That means that everything we find here has been brought here by humans. So basically we collect more or less everything, because it tells us about the people who lived here. Three tons of flint and rocks were already recovered from the bog by archaeologists in the 1950s. Another ton has been collected by more recent digs. But who were the people who lived in the bog? Where did they come from? Can a DNA analysis help the researchers to answer this question? Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.